Ivan Hoyt is likely best known for his Pennsylvania Dutch hex signs. His gallery in Wapalapan is filled with the colorful folk art he's created, each piece with its own symbol. A few years ago, Ivan turned his talents to another area of Dutch folklore that dealt with Christmas. This time of year, in his basement studio, Ivan can be found making bell snickles. The hooded cloak like that was very typical of the style of clothing that the bell snickles would have worn in the late 1800s, a nice warm woolen cloak or a fur coat. Bell snickles faded from Pennsylvania Dutch holiday tradition in the 1930s or so. But up till then, they came every Christmas season. Most often, neighbors would dress as bell snickles, tap at the window, and once let in, they found out who'd been good or bad. Good children would get treats of hard candies and peanuts and walnuts and oranges, treats of that era. And the naughty children would, of course, earn the switch, unless the legend goes that they knew a good joke or a riddle or knew a nice song that they could sing for the bell snickel to take his mind off the switch which they frequently did. The Belsnickels cast a glow of warmth and merriment wherever they went. According to Ivan, the custom of Christmas cookies began with them. Neighbors wanted to have a treat for visiting Belsnickels, and so they made cookies as gifts. In Ivan's pieces, the Belsnickels represent a wonderful memory of Christmas past. In a way, it's a tradition kept alive. At Christmas, I've always thought, you can never have too much of that. I'm Mike Stevens, News Watch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Luzerne County.